old RC car. Don't throw it away. Here's what you can do to make it better. You'll need two Arduino boards, two NRF24 transceiver modules, along with two 10 microfarad capacitors. The capacitors will help smooth the voltage going to the NRF24. You'll also need two battery packs. And for the remote, two joystick modules. For the car, two buck converters for different power levels, along with an L289N motor driver, a servo, a 100K and 10K resistor, LED, and switch. First, you'll need to take your car and remove everything from the frame except for the wheels and motors. Then you'll place the sheet ABS plastic on top for the base. This is where we mounted the 18650 battery holder and the motor driver. We also have a second platform where we mounted the Arduino buck converters and camera mount. For this we went with a stationary camera mount. However, we later decided to add a servo so the camera can look left and right. The circuit for the car is simple. The motor driver is receiving 12 volts directly from the battery. There is also a 10K and 100K resistor. Going to analog input pin 5, this will let us read the battery voltage. The first buck converter is outputting 8 volts, which is going to the Arduino voltage in pin. And the second buck converter is outputting 5 volts, going to the ESP32 camera and the servo. The NRF24 is receiving 3.3 volts from the Arduino, and there is a 10 microfarad capacitor between the power and ground of the NRF. There is also a buzzer on pin 3, so the car can have a horn. Analog input pin 5. This will allow us to monitor the battery voltage. We also decided to place the buzzer on the Arduino. This will let the car have a horn. The circuit for the remote is much more simple, having only the NRF24, the battery, and two joystick modules. The remote code will read the value of the joysticks and send it to the car. For setting up the NRF24, I use the RF24 library. Here the code is reading the joystick values and converting them to more PWM friendly numbers. The same is done for the turning. Because the values are being sent together, the code on the car will need to separate the values. Ensuring all the variables have the same number of characters will make this easier. To do this, first the value needs to be converted to a string. Using the dot length function, you can get the length of the string. If the value has less than three characters, a zero will be added to the front. This is done for the rest of the values. Next, the values will be put together and converted into a char to be sent to the car. The code for the car is reading the values sent by the remote. To begin, the code first runs the check battery function. The function reads the battery voltage to the 100K and 10K resistors going to analog pin 5. If the battery voltage is less than 9 volts, the LED on pin 4 will go high. If not, it will remain low. After reading the values sent from the remote, they need to be separated. To do this, use the char et function to grab the three characters of each values and to store them into their own variables. Use the two int function in order to convert them back to numbers.